Over the past year, the Center for Migration Studies of New York has continued to expand upon its legacy as an internationally recognized migration think tank and educational institute. Incorporated by the Congregation of the Missionaries of St. Charles Scalabrinians in 1964, CMS has remained committed to the study of international migration, the promotion of understanding between immigrants and receiving communities, and to public policies which safeguard the dignity and rights of migrants and refugees. The work of the Scalabrinian order, because as part of their constitution, written by their founder, Bishop Scalabrini, he wanted th this order to have study centers on the issue of migration that would analyze the sociology of migration, the, the causes of migration, and how people uh, could integrate. The, the tradition of these migration study centers is embedded in the constitutions of the, of the uh, Scalabrinian order. Addressing the high demand for data-driven, peer-reviewed studies on today's most pressing migration issues, throughout 2016, CMS has continued to expand and deliver leading research and analysis through its ongoing projects on democratizing data, the U.S. and global refugee protection systems, and U.S. Catholic institutions and immigrant integration. Reflecting the complex nature of human mobility, CMS publications emphasize a wide array of perspectives through interdisciplinary research, policy analysis, topical essays, and personal reflections. Our signature publications are the social science journal, The International Migration Review, and our public policy journal, The Journal on Migration and Human Security, both of which feature groundbreaking studies on the causes and consequences of international migration. One of the major things we do produce is the, the premier journal in migration studies, the International Migration Review, where uh, scholars submit articles and we pick the best of them on different issues of, of, of scholarship regarding migration. And over the last year, we've highlighted research that's very relevant to today's global situations, including research on Muslim immigrant integration in Western Europe and elsewhere. And the Journal on Migration and Human Security is a peer-reviewed journal with articles that are public policy focused. We've been delighted to have so many really uh, prominent migration scholars from around the world contribute. And um, we're excited because we, we want to use the pieces from the journal to actually influence public policy, to move the policy discussion on the area of migration and refugees. CMS continues to enrich its multimedia content to engage diverse audiences including through our newly launched, redesigned website, offering users simple and easy navigation through a vast collection of information on migration and through the expansion of our existing multimedia projects, CMS On Air and the Migration Expert Series. So this year we expanded CMS's podcast series, which is called CMS On Air, and it features audio interviews with government officials, experts, academics, and others on international migration and refugee issues. Uh, this year we interviewed Senator Chuck Schumer, um, Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, and former DHS Secretary Michael Chertoff. So over the last year, CMS has broadened its Migration Expert Series, which are video interviews that seek to bridge the gap between social science and policy, including interviews with uh, policymakers and academics in the field. Responding to the enormous challenges faced by both migrants and the international community, CMS has convened policymakers, advocates, community leaders, scholars, and other stakeholders in the field throughout 2016 in order to advance thought-provoking, data-driven conversations that inspire cooperation and action on behalf of migrants and refugees. One of the fundamental values that distinguish CMS is its determination to integrate the voice of migrants in its work. We believe in placing the voice of the migrant, the refugee, the newcomer, front and center of our research. And this year has not been an exception. We visited and learned about the lived experiences of border communities in El Paso, Texas. We also learned from organizers and legal service providers that serve and empower immigrants in Houston, Nebraska, and Queens. We hosted a listening session with refugees from every corner of the world to learn about their recommendations to improve the global refugee protection system. We visited migrant detention facilities and shelters in El Salvador, Guatemala, and Mexico. We're just back from a trip to um, 
Central America where we stayed at the Scalabrini Welcoming Centers and shelters in El Salvador, in Guatemala, and in southern Mexico. And I can tell you that it was one of the most impressive um, ministries that I've ever witnessed. All of this, when you look at it from afar, you see that people are integrated into the country by the work of the church. And uh, now we're studying it to see if we can improve it and that people should be aware that what we do as a church really has a very great integrative force. Our touchstones are Catholic touchstones. We care about the vulnerable, but we're equally proud of the fact that we do very rigorous academic and public policy work. And we see those two things as connected, not, at, not as at odds. It's not an either or for us. It's an and and, and both are enrich our work and kind of make us a unique agency, I think. I think that the center has more of a presence in the policy and advocacy world. I think the relationship with the media has expanded and improved to, to the degree that the center is cited on many studies and, and pointed to as an expert in the field. There are many debates in the migration world. What's happening with Haitians and Cubans, what's happening with the resettlement refugee program, uh, what's happening overseas. So we have quite a, a range of topics that we can address. I think what we're going to do is we're going to remain devoted to refugees. We're going to be dealing with a new administration in Washington and there's, that's going to create possibilities. It's going to create a lot of demand for our work. We make policy recommendations that are based on the evidence and we follow them through over many, many years and we intend to do that in the future.